Hello, hello people, back at it again, we're doing two episodes today, two episodes, we've just come uh, on the back of the, the debt debt defaults that are absolutely shocking, and I wanted to do another video about food banks people, look at this, 2.9 people are now using food banks, up from 60,000 in 2010, we have failed as a country, the UK, I mean, just think of that, 2.98 up from 60,000, absolutely ridiculous, we'll be getting into it in this video, looking at some videos as well, um, but yeah, just, just shout out, start off with 750 followers, love you all guys, keep the comments coming, love interacting with you guys, um, if you're new to this channel, take a seat, enjoy, welcome, uh, we're just covering these issues that everyone's going through and we're going to be looking at some of these 2024 collapses, now tell me there's not a collapse coming in when you see numbers like this, absolutely shocking stuff. Absolutely shocking stuff. Devon Food Bank, busier than ever for Easter break. This was one day ago. Devon's in a lovely bit of the UK. But even these rural areas are getting smashed right now. They don't have enough money in the areas and they need people to go to these food banks. And even on Easter, it's busier than usual. Look at this. This is disgusting. Living hand to mouth. Record number of police officers turn into food banks. So the people who protect the realm... We're not going to get into whether the police are good or bad on this video, nothing like that. What I want to talk about is these people are protecting the realm. If something goes wrong in your life, if someone attacks you, the first person you call is the police. And now one in ten admit they're relying on handouts. These are police, everyone. These are the police. It's just, it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. This is almost up 50% in three years as officers warn morale is at an all-time low and forces are hemorrhaging staff. With one in five planning on quitting in the next two years. So the police, they're not making enough money. Why would you, why would you go, look at this. The average police constable in England and Wales is, joins on 23K. If you've been following the videos on this channel, you know you can't live, especially if you've got a family and whatnot on 23K. Absolutely ridiculous. No wonder they're going to put to, to food banks. Look at this one. You wake up wondering where your next meal is coming from. UK food banking crisis is only going to get worse. There was an interesting bit down here. Let me just pull it up. Da, 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 da. An NHS emergency department medical assistant whose identity we are protecting recently shared, recently started going to the food bank. So it's not just police, it's the NHS as well. This isn't working anymore, people. The UK isn't working anymore. Finally, before we get into some videos, end of year staff, close to 3 million emergency food bank parcels were distributed by food banks in the Trussell Trust in the past 12 months. I just want to point this out. These are just This is just food banks in the Trussell Trust. There's loads of other different food banks. Like, what are the actual stats? It's absolutely insane. So let's get into it, people. Let's get into it. We'll start here. Why not? Okay, just quickly, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to the food banks of the UK. This food parcel arrived from uh, the, an area that's local to where I am. Um, the Christian Partnership arranged these. And thank you, Rebecca, my support worker, who arranged this. My shopping couldn't be paid for this month because bills came out of my direct debit before my shopping i don't leave my house i don't i can't physically be in a shop um so yes massive thank you food banks are saving so many people lately our price of food even people that work are struggling yeah because look at all this it's nothing fancy it's all basic stuff but that'd still cost you near 100 quid in the uk and and this woman obviously is struggling so shout out durham council for for hooking her up with this um and the christian network you know F shout out everyone who's doing the bit have any food in your cupboards it's no good we all have tins stuck there we buy an offer and then we're like yeah what the bloody hell we're we gonna do with that this is what we can do with it, help other people. I have to be honest, I don't know what I'll do with boiled chickpeas. And I've never had quinoa. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Well, that's how I pronounce it. But, yeah, even some toiletries look. Oh, lovely stuff. So much, thanks. And chocolate biscuits. I'll admit, I ate the small pot of... Crisps, the ones you pop, you can't stop, but the bloody hell's their names. Pringles. I ate the small <laughs> pot of those. Yeah, demolished them straight away. 
But thank you, thank you. You're the absolute angels. Yeah, shout out to when I like seeing people when they've uh, been thankful for something. These are the people we need to help, though, guys. These these people are going to be struggling right now. If you've got anything else that you can donate, I'd, uh, I'd do that as well. Is it just me or is the amount of stuff you're getting from the food bank and the quality of it going down and down every single week? Honestly, this week is the worst we have ever had. They've given us crap Danish bread again. Who on earth is going to look forward to having toast with this shit in the morning? And to make matters even worse, they've given us clover light. This stuff is disgusting. The full fat stuff is nice, but why are they putting this stuff in there now? Look, I understand it's charity, it's free and we're supposed to appreciate it. But just because we're on benefits, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't have some nice food to enjoy every now and then. I mean, soya milk. I was in two minds whether to take the bags back today. I really was. Some of the pack bags I saw were even worse than our one. I mean, putting the pancake mix in there for pancake day was a nice touch. But there's six of us. What are we going to have? One fucking pancake each. And they've given us a lot of filler stuff like rice and oats. A lot of cleaning stuff. To be honest, we've got loads of that in the cupboard already. I honestly don't. Yeah, well, this guy's pissing me off. I mean, listen, guys, you have to be thankful for whatever you can get. If you've got loads of cleaning stuff, just don't take it. Leave it for someone else if it's that big of a deal. My God. Going from the most thankful person to someone... Honestly, God, he's wound me up, this guy. This woman has gone viral for being called the ungrateful food bank lady. No fresh fruit. My God, honestly, guys, I haven't watched any of these videos before I watch them with you. I didn't think there'd be that many people who are unthankful with it. This is actually kind of blowing my mind a little bit. There's no toilet paper. Everybody that says go to the food bank, there is not one thing I'm going to eat in here. I guess I'm going up to the backyard to go find my frozen dandelions and I'm going to go uh, fry those up in some water. People were mad because she criticized the food she received from a food bank as she continues to show off the canned goods in a sarcastic tone. Sliced pineapple. Okay, this is probably the only good thing. Again, the can Anything is dented, butter. whatever. They this was her response after the backlash. Negatively about me not being grateful for processed disgusting food. And oh, by the way, my nails, are you kidding me? My oldest daughter got me a gift card. So I like pretty things. I like my kids to be healthy and eat healthy food, and so do I. Some pointed out that she must have had money if she could afford a smartphone and get her nails done. Some pasta. But do we have anything to put on this pasta? She faced a lot of backlash and eventually deactivated her account. But considering her dietary preference, do you think she should have just donated? End of the day, guys, if you're not happy with the food that's coming with it, leave it for someone else. There is someone who is struggling who would absolutely love all this stuff. I know it's not the best food, but you can't be choosy. You can't have to take what you're given um, and be thankful no matter what you're given, guys. Have you been hungry? I've been Paul. starving. I've been really hungry the last three days. So what did you eat yesterday? Uh, I had fish fingers and beans. Shocking. What, what else did you have? That's it. That's all Jesus I had. Jesus Christ. Fish fingers and beans for me. You wouldn't think we were a first world country, would you? My God. Amen. What about lunch? No. No. I just fill up on tea. Paul is 57 and lives in Western Supermare. This morning, he went to the local food bank in desperation. Today... We picked up these cans, baked beans, soups, uh, chopped tomatoes are back there as well. He's had no money for days, and what little food he's had, he's had to ration to one meal a day. He lives alone, and in this, the flat's only other room keeps the lights off as much as possible. Vehicle repair diplomas adorn mostly bare walls from a career ended prematurely by ill health. Paul receives £843 a month on universal credit. He's due to get more on health grounds. But right now, he's reeling from a recent hike in rent, now costing £620 a month, leaving him, after paying bills and insurance, with... On average, £30. I mean, how do you even survive? How do you even survive? All his money's going to rent. I just, my God. For the month. I'm very lucky that I have... It's less than £10 a week, ...a guys. really good neighbour. And she bought me some milk today. Because she she knew I was... Didn't have any, basically. So I can have a cup of tea. God bless the neighbours. 
Today's report by the Joseph Rantree Foundation claims the number of people experiencing destitution in the UK has more than doubled in the last five years, almost two-thirds of whom have a disability or chronic health problem. Do you want some extra milk, love? Oh, yes, please, yes. Got loads of milk. Gareth, who's 55, finds himself at the same food bank as Paul. A welder fabricator until he says a spinal issue affecting his hands made that too difficult. I need a new pair of boots, yeah? I'll struggle to buy a, a, a postcard with a pair of boots on it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I, I can't afford anything, you know? Sometimes I have to... Sometimes I have to share a can of tuna with a cat because we're that skin. You get to the stage where you just think, what's the point? You know, this is not living, this is not even surviving. Everything I held dear in the last year since I've been signed off has gone, really. You've been... And that's it, that's the sad state of it, people. Look at this comment here from SJM. I wonder if any of our politicians live like this. No, they don't because they make 85k a year uh, and they get all their expenses paid for people. So, yeah, they're never going to have to go to a food bank. They'll shut them down, though. Hi, we're having a food pantry here this Sunday and we just want to give back to the community because it's Easter and what better way to celebrate it than spreading the love of God to the community and it's going to be at 12 p.m. and we just want to give groceries and fill up your pantry, take as much as needed. Um, it's right here at 2703 West Amos Avenue, Allentown, PA, 1810-3. We would love to see you. Can't wait to meet you. Shout out to this girl doing the Lord's work, helping out. I think we all just need to, to be helping out these days. Here's some food bank tips if you're struggling to buy food or you want to get involved donating food. First of all, if you're struggling to buy food, to use a food bank, you need a referral. You can get a referral for yourself or any family member that you live with from either the council, citizens advice, your GP, housing association or social worker. There's also places where you don't need a referral to go to a food bank like your local church for example. Simply search food bank and your local area and there should be enough information there to give you a head start. Once you've been referred and given a voucher it may be on a specific day so make sure it's the right day that you go and you will typically receive a voucher for a food parcel that will last three days. And if you want to donate to a food bank, most supermarkets have donation bins at the end of the till where you can drop food in. The most popular items to donate will be things like pasta and rice, porridge, that kind of thing, because it's cheap and it fills you up. But if you can, try and give something with a bit more nutrition in it. Tins of tuna and tins of beans are good examples. And toiletries too, like toothpaste. It doesn't have to be Colgate, this is just what I add. And baby wipes will be good ones for mothers too. My cat's not happy about me giving this tuna away. And maybe some random household stuff too, like stock cubes. There's that many people that use food banks that whatever you donate from your house will be put to good use. But it has to be long-lasting food like tin food, etc. because fresh food can't be distributed in time. Donating something small like just one tin can make a big difference. Yeah, shout out to this guy. You know what, he's getting another follow. I thought I followed him before, but he always puts some good little tips. I like checking in on this dude. I actually don't know where this is. It looks like some sort of Cyrillic Russian writing, but it's saying Calgary, Canada. That's a nice looking food bank package. You're getting fresh bread, bagels, some name brand stuff, fresh meat, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. My God, that looks a lot better than the UK. If anyone knows where this is, uh, leave me a comment. I'd actually genuinely like to know. We'll do one more than get out, guys. All right, so I've seen a few people do this. Um, we live in Newfoundland, Canada. And in our area, this is what we get, what we got from the food bank. This is considered a large hamper. We are a family of five, two adults, sorry, three adults, two teenagers. So these are the, you get a box of frozen stuff and then three recycling, three shopping bags, recycling bags of stuff, reusable bags, and then uh, when you go in, in the doorway, in the one that we go to, 
there's some shelves and you can, uh, if there's stuff laid out, you can pick through it and then if there's anything that you like, you can take it. So I will show you everything that we got in just a second. All right, so I've seen a few people. God damn shit, this girl's getting roasted in the comments on the side. Everyone's saying three adults, no one's working. It looks like some of them are disabled and whatnot. But yeah, Canada, it looks like their food their food banks actually look a lot more nutritious than the UK. Leave me a comment, guys. What are the food banks like? What's the situation like where you're at? Are you having to go to them? I love hearing from the community. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there, but I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.